my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to use some more of the Ace Boutte palette. I think I'm aiming for these three colors here because this matches my pants and I want to try some more of this palette. I'm going to start with my fluffy brush from Wish and I'm going to go into Seaweed, which is an olive green that's almost brown, but still olive. There was a little bit of kick up in this one, but that's okay. This is just going to be my transition shade. Once again, I did not set my eyeshadow primer just because the last couple days using this palette without it have been a-okay. Meanwhile, I just said that. I don't know what's happening out here. Let's see if we can fix that. Well, that's better. It can stay there for now. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it. I'm going into the same shade, but I just want to make it more opaque as I go deeper into the crease. a nice olive, both in tone and formula. Next I'm going in with my IBY crease brush and I'm going to go into Turtle, which is a deep green, like a true green. And I'm using this little brush to go deeper into the crease because when I was working with some of the blues the other day or the teals, it spread out further than I wanted it to. So I'm keeping that in mind. So when that happens, all you have to do is, well, of course, be careful, but downsize on your brush to make up for it. And I've just learned that by practice and by watching other people on YouTube. I'm just gonna try to blend that out a little bit with my fluffy brush, and it's clean, I'm just going over it with nothing on it. I think what I'm going to do is go into Turtle with my pinky, see how that goes. Just go on my outer third. Make sure I get in the little gap which may or may not be me. Just my eye shape or something like that. Or it may be the shadow. It's a little hard to tell. And then just blend it a little bit. Mm, that's not gonna work, it's sticking. All right, so I'll just blend it with the finger that has eyeshadow on it. And just quickly sweep away the fallout. I do have powder under here as I usually do. And that's why that works so well. Then I'm going to take Anemone, which is a metallic shimmery olive. Nice. And that's just gonna go on my inner two thirds. This one is definitely one of the stiffer ones. I can feel that. But as you can see, if I go with my finger and I built it up a little bit, and blend it out a little bit, it works just fine. Then, like I usually do on my lower lash line, I'm going to mimic what I have on the top. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. I'm going to start with Turtle, which is the dark green. And go on the outer third. And then I'm going into Anemone. Let's see how well it picks up. That is going to go right in here, in the inner two thirds of the lower lash line. Needs some building up, but there it is. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with my dollar store brush, and I think I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Brightening Rocks from the Crystal Cavern collection. I'm going to try and mix like a green one and a white one and try to make a brow bone highlight out of that. I 
it's nice. I like that better here, I think, than on my cheeks. Now for a highlighter on my face, what I'm going to do is use this guy again, the Crystal High Highlighter from Wet n Wild. Instead of using a brush this time, I'm going to use my finger. And that is so rich. Like I only put it in a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna, I think, dab along my cheekbones and kind of buff it in a little bit. Is that what this is called? I don't know how much you or I will be able to see this because it's raining out. So there's not really any sunlight to come in my window and show it to us. See it a little bit on this side. Oh, there we go. Still feel like that's too much. <laughs> but once again, I'm someone who generally likes a subtle highlight, not a beaming to the gods one that most people like. So it's gonna take some practice. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye, see you next time.